Welcome back to Pipe Organ Stops. We're in the idyllic town of Lawrence, Kansas, looking out over beautiful Clinton Lake. Check it out. The day couldn't be more perfect, and we're about to go check out the Andover Pipe Organ at the St. Lawrence Catholic Student Center on campus at University of Kansas. So, here we go. In the early 1980s, Monsignor Vince Krischi was commissioned to raise money for the development of the St. Lawrence Catholic Center. He was very particular that it would be the ideal place for worship and learning. He wanted it to have a choir, and an instrument that could accompany that choir. He told the local paper, It was always my idea, ever since I was a kid, that if I ever built a church, it would have a pipe organ. He wanted a mechanical pipe organ because he felt it best represented the ideal for church music. Monsignor Krischi was able to find a generous donor for the organ in the person of Edith Cubison Darby, in memory of her late husband, Senator Harry Darby. She donated $150,000 for its construction. The Catholic Center is in a really good place on campus for convenient access for students. The city of Lawrence is home to the University of Kansas, or the KU Jayhawks as they're known. The St. Lawrence Center serves the Catholic student community on campus. It is also the home of worship for more than 120 permanent families. The newer additions on the east side of the center are named in honor of Monsignor Krischi. All right, here we are. Let's head on in. The St. Lawrence Center has a wonderfully inviting feeling as you step inside, helping visitors feel at home. The chapel is able to seat upwards of 350 congregants and lets in light through skylights and stained glass. It is built predominantly with warm colored wood and stone. Its walls are filled with worshipful art, and it has a high vaulted ceiling, giving the chapel more than one second of reverb, which is ideal for the room's acoustics. This two-manual tracker action instrument has more than 1,500 pipes, Andover Organ's owner and president, Bob Reich, worked tirelessly for more than six months to create what would become Andover's Opus 96, together with his brother Dan Reich and nearly a dozen other associates. After its installation, a series of inaugural concerts took place over a span of two months. St. Lawrence enjoyed recitals from such performers as the Czechoslovakian-born Carol Paukert, University of Kansas organ professor Dr. James Higdon, and traveling American concert artist Wilma Jensen. All right, here we are. Here's the Andover. This is a very fun organ to play. Let's start by sampling. Here's the swell. These are all swell. Let's start with the eight foot gems horn. Here's the swell celeste. And once again, this is just the celeste ring. Um, here's the chimney flute, the eight foot. And here's if we combine the chimney flute and the celeste. Here's if we combine the gems horn and the celeste. So there's some celeste possibilities. Um, up here we've got the four-foot spire principle. The two-foot principle. And here's the swell mixture, the sharp. It draws on two ranks. And here's the reed for the swell. We've got an eight foot crum horn. Very distinctive sound, very nice. Coming over to the grate. So all of this over here, this is all the grate. And let's start with the eight foot open diapason. Four foot octave. Two foot 
two foot fifteenth. And then the grape mixture. This one draws on four ranks and let me demonstrate too so you can hear it break back as you go up. <laughs> cool, so you can hear it about once every octave break back. Okay, so down here we have our 16 foot boarding make things a little bit thicker. We also have eight foot stopped diapason for a softer eight foot. Here is our four foot flute. And here's the cornet rank, and this or this stop has three ranks it's calling on, and it's the top of a traditional Baroque cornet. So it'd be the two and two thirds, the two foot, and the one and three fifths, and you can hear that. And meant to be used in combination, but here is a full cornet. So we've got our here's our eight foot softer stop stop that pace and the four foot flute and then the cornet on top and here's our full cornet together which sounds like very nice solo option and finally up above for the great we've got our eight foot trumpet and uh, here's what this sounds like Nice, strong, good character, warm sound. Over to the pedal. This, all of these on the left side up here, those are the pedal stops. And down below we've got first our double open diapason 16 foot. Sounds like. If you can hear that, my phone's picking that up. <laughs> here is the 16 foot board in. Then here's our eight foot octave bass. The, here's a principal eight foot. Wait. Next, here's our four foot principal, the four foot chorale. And above that, we've got our two pedal reeds. Here's our 16 foot trombone. Great. And we've also got our eight foot trumpet. Nice option. Let me show you the uh, couplers down below. And here's the great bottle. And since it's all mechanical action, you can see that it actually physically couples. Swell the pedal, right here in the middle. Once again. That's both the manual couplers. And then we've got the swell to great right here. So that'll couple these two. So they're physically connected. Over on this side, there's our tremulant. So if you need the tremulant, that's how you engage it. Right there. And then in the middle, here's our swell, the swell pedal, so for expression. That actually controls, once again, there's a direct mechanical connection to the swell box, the louvers. You can see it opening and closing. And let me demonstrate that. So let's close them first. Now it's time for sampling by way of playing. For this segment, 
I thought I'd demonstrate the organ's capabilities by playing a musically diverse sampling of organ pieces. <laughs> I'd say that, as far as a test for handling diverse organ literature, this Baroque-flavored Andover pipe organ seems to pass the test quite well, in my opinion. I'll let you draw your own conclusions. Well, there you have it, another great instrument. So until I see you again, have fun at the console, bye.